All right. Time for a Pantheon game. I will be playing against the Nunu here, which should be fine. Doable matchup. You can't really fight me at any point, so that should be good. Don't necessarily worry about maybe a bit for my teammates when it comes to ganks, but gank wise for me, I have really good gank setup, so that is quite nice. Let's go here, make sure that they uh, help me out here. You definitely need a leash from the best leash possible with Pantheon. Uh, this champ, like jungle in general, right now does a lot of damage. There's a lot of champions that go very low when actually clearing their camps. Pantheon is one of them. If you don't get a leash, you're Pretty much gonna have a very hard time clearing, so that's not what you want. Absolutely. So yeah. Go early towards top, see if I can get like an early cheese on the uh, Yone here, that'd be quite nice. And yeah. Let's see. Don't wanna hold it in this position. Okay, I mean, I guess this is fine. I'm gonna smite it here, to be honest. On this side of the map, you want to take E. On the other side of the map, taking the W is slightly faster for the killing of Gromp and stuff. But on this one, the E is better for, like, Raptors and such. And clearing, like, the small ones here, potentially, as well. There you go. Your pet does two hits, so you have to auto-attack, then wait for two hits and auto-attack again, and then you refresh it. There we go, use this for the Raptors here. Make it a few hits, as you can see. This is why you take the E on this side. W on the other side, because it's better for single target stuff, like the Gromp and stuff, so you have more benefit there. That should be a one-for-one -one trade. Doesn't have Teleport, though, so he's gonna feel that one. That's a lot of uh, minions lost. He's absolutely gonna feel that one. That trade's super good for Yone. If I was the Yone there, I'd take that trade any, any day of the week. Uh, for me, top lane gank is not going to be a viable option at the moment. We obviously have to stall a bit. Top lane seems to be doing well. I think Jinx wins because of her getting excited passive. Yep. Nice double kill. Not bad. One kill for Vayne though, so it's not a complete victory, I suppose. But two to one for the 80 carries, definitely never bad, you know? It's low. Recalling. She doesn't have teleport either. Okay. My, my, I'm just gonna finish clearing this and hopefully go for the top gank. Does it? Did it just hit me through stunning it? Hello? Rito Games, are you good? That's interesting. Might be able to go for a mid gank here. Hit it a couple times. I wonder if she's gonna re if, we, if it's gonna recall here. One Q so I can prep this and then we go in. Wave is coming, so I have to be quick. I don't think his W is up yet, so. Nothing, nothing she could do. That is probably a dead top laner. Yeah. I think her E was still on cooldown for a while there. If I'm gonna run bolt here real quick. Uh, I didn't hit him. That's actually kind of depressing, I'm not gonna lie. Please tell me he dies. I'll take it. I was hoping to at least hit him to, well, get the kill, preferably, of course, but also the, um... Just the assist for the Relentless Hunter stacks would have been already great for me. Oh, he did not. Oh, he did get the snare. Okay, damn. That means he's dead. Just clear this, and then we'll go for the... I guess I can scare him a bit, so I'm forcing him back. I do still have flash, so I could technically try to use that on this guy if I if it happens to be good for me. I do have to, I don't I don't know I have a quite quite a bit of money, so I definitely need to look towards basing soon. Just take some free mid XP. I definitely have to look for a recall soon. I can't be sticking on the map with um, this amount of money for a long time. I'm gonna finish my bot side two camps, I think, and then recall. 
That way I'll don't, I at least won't have my entire jungle on the respawn, or like up, if you know what I mean. At least some of it will be respawning. And then move towards top lane and then look from there. I'm gonna use this E to clear all the small ones with. Enough for me. Definitely gotta take a recall here, can't do anything else. This way at least I like kind of don't have my entire jungle up when I'm backing, because that would be quite inefficient. Pretty decent back I would say. I think I'm just gonna run straight to top lane here. I could technically do these two camps, hit six and do something. Oh, she got hit. She's probably dead. Hmm. Okay. Oh, she killed Nunu. Gamer. I like it. Very, very good. I'm gonna sprint towards top as fast as I can here because this guy should be dead. That's just a WQ and he's gone. You know? Or just a Q by itself would be enough at this, at this stage. Really? Alright, I'm just gonna get through here. I was planning to like throw it in a way that I can... It doesn't finish him off. Really? That missed? Are you... Come on, man. Tell me he dies. Jesus Christ, that was a more of a struggle than I would have hoped. At least he's dead, man. I, that's all I can say. No matter that was ba badly played or whatever, at least he's dead. Jesus. God, that was that was a struggle. Yeah, at least my AD carry's doing well. That's very good to see. I mean, this could still go pretty badly for him. He could die once and give a big shutdown and then, yeah. But as of right now, this is fine. I did? Yeah. Lissandra solo kills Zed. Just two kills now. She could have solo killed Zed. That would be quite nice. I have to make sure I keep my jungle tempo up. I can't be, like, leaving my camps up too long for the most part. Definitely need to make sure I keep clearing. Who's going to spawn at 25? I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to loop around this way and just go for the mid gank. Yep, make sure my entire thing is stacked. Yeah, that's a that's a good engage for us. Uh, that's a one for one trade. Didn't get the CC lock him under turret, unfortunately, there. I am gonna have to ult bot lane here as fast as I can. This should be good counter gank. Okay, at least it's that. At least I got a kill out of it. That's the good thing about Pantheon. And those types of counter situations are great. I can't really follow that one, unfortunately for you. Don't walk into me, please. Oh. Yeah, no, we're just gonna put this in the turret and leave. I have a lot of gold, so I definitely need to look towards basing soon again. I think I'm gonna do the same thing I just did, and just clear my bolt side, at least. And then recall. I'm gonna do here. It's getting engaged on. I could technically look mid still, but I do have to keep in mind that this amount of gold's risky. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to uh, like absolutely risk this too much. I'll hold my stacks and I'll just auto attack this down and see if I can maybe make a play on Zed, perhaps. I do not set the pace. I race against it. He's dead, right? I am. I am not dead. Whew. The second I held my Q there, I I could have died to the uh, to the like proc. If I pressed E instead, then I would have definitely lived. But I can't press E when I have that animation, so I almost suicided if that would have done enough damage. Luckily, it didn't do enough damage, but it was a risky play, like 
All right. I know I'm stacking a lot of money, but at this point, I'm just going to finish this on top side, recall, um, then go gank bot lane and play for dragon or something along those lines. I think that's probably the play. I'm definitely not looking for any more ganks at this point. But since I'm here, I might as well do this somewhat efficiently and then play for Drake afterwards. I'm going to have so much money to spend. I do not advise walking around with this much money. It's definitely a risk. 100%. But in this game, it kind of just kind of worked out a little bit that way. Still, yeah, but yeah. Okay, on my way. It's coming up in 13, so they should line up pretty much perfectly. We got an instant cleaver here, that's nice. Cleaver is great in Pantheon, especially with like the W thing, because it instantly shreds the armor completely, and then you W press the attack proc, and you just do a significant amount of burst with this. I always go Dirk, Cleaver, and then uh, CDR boots, I would buy those in between. I'm going in. Well, I guess I just wasted my ultimate. Uh, it's better safe than sorry, I suppose. My bot lane wins the fight, it's okay. No assists for me though, unfortunately. That's what I would have liked to see the most. Can we just hit the dragon, please. My Jinx is quite strong. I'm also very strong at the moment, so... We are both looking quite good here. Leona? Nope, he's going bot lane. I wonder if this guy has ult. I can definitely kill him here. Alright, fair play. I'm not gonna overchase him there, it's fine. Can't risk a Nunu. Let's see what this guy does. Okay, I was able to block all of his shurikens with my E. Just was waiting for that exact moment. And then we're going to now walk up to this guy. Ideally from behind. We're going to stack up some Qs while running up here. Need to make sure my W is ready to go. Wait for the wave to pass. And then we just walk up. No, we should have walked towards this side. Okay, we should be good here. Okay, Mordekaiser ultimate. Hopefully that works. I am going to be dead here. Thank god that worked. He almost got me. I was not expecting him to still have his ult, if I'm being honest, when I go when I went for that play, but... I guess it's fine. I managed to survive, so... Yeah, Jinx is doing well still. Not bad. Stack this up. I can probably go for mid here. Lissandra does have ult, so this should be pretty free. Don't ult yourself! Ult him! Oh my god. Dude. Really? That's depressing. Ah, that was a that was a free ass kill if I've ever seen one. Okay, you were dead. Thank you. Smite him there. Holy, okay, well, it worked, it worked. Z uh, the uh, Lissandra made another engage play happen. If she would have just ulted him there, I would have been able to like instantly CC him with my W and he would have just completely died, but it's okay. It worked out, there's nothing going on, it's fine. Nunu is really trying for some ganks, which aren't really working for him, I suppose, which translates into like lower CS counts because he's trying for the ganks. That's good for me. Like, I'm also trying for the ganks, but I'm, like, keeping up with my farm for the most part. I have a pretty good recall here in a second, actually. I can buy it. I also see this bot lane play there, going to come in from the, uh, from the back angle here. I stack this up. Walk at them. I'm going to stun the... Vein, I suppose, at this point. At least I got the assist. Beautiful. 
that was just a good angle like i i could have technically recalled there but on this angle right there they, there's no turret here so it's gonna be good I need to rush top lane here real quick Let's pick this up still i would have had my cdr boots by now but i'm probably not going to be buying them anymore this game cdr boots are like great for like early game stages, but the amount of golds i've recalled with so far have just been like ideal if you know what i mean i'm gonna ult this he's dead here perfect pantheon ult things you know did he get the assist on that i hope so I think my bot lane may be dead here. Oof, yeah. Jinx loses those 1v1s. Interesting. He must have had a ton of gold there, I think. Lose that, right? Rapid fire, pickaxe. Yeah, that's probably a lot of gold there. That's okay. I'm actually going to take my recall here. Because now I just... I'll just buy steel caps against this team right now. Again, normally earlier I would have bought these, but at this stage of the game with the amount of golds I've recalled with so far, it's just, this is the play. I just get the steel caps. They are very heavy on AD. I do have to worry a bit about the brand damage, but mostly physical damage here and auto attack based as well. So this is going to be great. If I can rotate mid, I have my blue smite completion as well, so we can use that movement speed there. This Lissandra just has to make an engage happen and it's fine. Interesting. You are dead, buddy. Oh, you got that cooldown back? Okay, fine, you live. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> okay, got him. The dragon. Just play it slow with the spear charge there and see where he's gonna walk to. I, sh I don't have smite, but I don't think Nunu is gonna be able to get in here anyway. I think I'm okay. Q still kind of smites it a little bit. I'll just W to secure it. Make sure I don't get hit in the wall there. Sure, I get my charges up. Gotta queue a couple times here. Get my charges going. Where is this guy gonna go? Surely that's not gonna work for him. But his turret's still here. Oops. Right. He tried to go that way. That works for me. I'm gonna loop in from this angle here, place the control in this bush, if something is going on. Yone can't walk into the team into my team. I'm just gonna cut him off here. I'm just gonna do Herald real quick. We have to do kinda of fast because the timer's gonna time out. W, you get the charges back. Ooh, my team's dying. Definitely this was my last chance to pick up the Herald, so that should be my priority. Yeah, they're definitely dead here. That's the control ward advantage there, just being able to do that. I knew she was going to try to walk into it or something, you know, with the way she's already path. Good for me. I should be able to just use this, actually. Prep the cues again. You want to make sure you have that thing ready to go. I'm just going to click it a couple times here. Okay. Thought we had a bit more pressure than we had, but it's fine. Still some good damage. Could be an engage on me potentially. We're just gonna slowly play this out. I can flash stun, but oh no! I just got 
he, he gets out that way. There's not much I can do. We'll have flesh done. Don't really want to risk it though. I do have a lot of money as well here, so risking it becomes less and less worth it, if you know what I mean. Kings needs to hit this. He's the range champion here. Good. Put a W on him. Make sure to prep the next W when using Q here. I really do want to recall. I, I really don't want to risk it, to be honest. Okay, we're definitely going on Vayne here. That's, we're not going to allow that one. Okay, hit him with the Q smite. Hit him at least. Let me stick around. I really need the back. My team kind of wanted to fight that one pretty badly, and I can't leave them. If I leave them, that would be worse. I am very strong, so I don't have to worry that much about the amount of gold I currently have. If that makes sense. So I can afford to fight there. If I was in a bit of a weaker state, I definitely wouldn't have fought that with that amount of gold, but I'm still kind, kind of a good amount stronger than them, so I had some leeway. And I can't really back there, because that would be bad for the team. Because without me there, the likelihood they lose that fight goes up tremendously. And I cannot afford that, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna finish a, a couple of camps here. I still have a little bit of time before the dragon spawn, so I'm just gonna make use of that time right now instead of recalling. Yes, I am racking up more gold, but because I just have this sliver of time before the dragon spawns, I'm gonna use it. I can push a little bit more aggressively for time with Pantheon, because you do have Pantheon ultimate, so you don't have to be, like, as on time. Like, this is enough time to get to the dragon. I have 5,000 gold. Uh, we definitely go Death's Dance here. And then we'll go for, I think, just this. Blade of the Rune King is very nice. The attack speed is really nice, and the uh, W obviously procs those things, so you can get a very high burst off of it. Attack speed is good for faster Q charges as well, so it's a very nice item to have. But yeah, full armor, like, I mean, lady, sorry, so armor's great here. Don't like the fact that my uh, team is just chilling mid like that. Built in. Vein first. Perfect. I the dragon. I should be able to chase him here because my blue smite's gonna allow me to move feet here. Yep, perfect. And skill him with smite there because he was getting to the HP threshold. And they have F'd it. It would have just been a Baron. I'm gonna go and play the Rune King here into like probably GA. I don't need magic versus that much, but I can also consider a Maw. Uh, but yeah, that is it for Pantheon. If you guys have enjoyed this video please make sure to hit the like button below i'll spend quite a bit if like to see more videos in the future hit the subscribe button as well and i'll see you guys in the next one bye all right so for the end game stats here as well i ended up doing 24k damage which is the highest on the team in the game even yes things did a lot of damage as well she had a pretty good laning phase so not, definitely not bad true damage oof Right, damage to objectives, 24.5, 26 on her, her, but obviously she hit the last dragon a lot, and I didn't, so... Yeah, but objective damage as a jungler should always be high, especially if you are the winning jungler. This should be the highest stat in the game, usually speaking. But Jinx slightly outdid me on this one, that's fine. Uh, we have healing done at about 4k, not too much, but I also generally didn't get that low to heal. Damage taken at about 19k, pretty good. Self-mitigated damage, 15k. And for the runes, press the attack, dealt 2,500 damage. That is a lot. And we have triumph for about 1,000 healing, 500 gold. Good graph for 800 damage, sudden impact for about 900 damage, and then relentless hunter alongside the blue smite for a bunch of map mobility to be able to like get pickoffs and kills a lot faster. So yeah, that is it for Pantheon. See you guys in the next video. Bye.